Hey, welcome back to yet another loop mash video, the plugin I can't seem to shake free of. Um, had an interesting question posted by uh, alert reader Joseph Paul, wanting to know if there was any way to automate the, um, in his question he said, automate the quantized value of, of loop mash FX. I, I think what, what you're really asking is to automate the, the grid resolution in the background. If you click these little red notes in the middle of the plugin, you can see that the, the grid size is, is changing and that affects the, the size of the, the stutter or the length of the backspin or any of these other effects. So I'm just, I've got a basic drum track roll in here. Let me um, just uh, play a few bars and change resolution so you can hear the difference. And then uh, I think you'll see why he was wanting to, to do this. So, so well, So the, obviously sounds that one quarter stutter sounds very different depending on the resolution. And uh, interestingly enough, you, you might think, well, why, why don't you just leave your resolution fixed and use a different stutter interval? But that doesn't work. You, they don't line up. So uh, the problem, I guess, which is why Mr. Paul asked the question, is that when you click on these um, icons to change the resolution, that information is not recorded anywhere. Uh, even if I turn on uh, right automation here and I hit play and start doing all that, if you open the automation, there's nothing. Usually in Cubase, you know, the next automation lane, it's when you open it, it's going to show uh, whatever is actively automated and, and there's nothing there. But what you can do is you can uh, link this change of function to a quick control, and quick controls are very easy to automate. So um, I've got the uh, the quick control slot open or tab open over here. If I uh, click on the first slot, you can see it's set to, to no parameter. There's nothing assigned. I'm going to click the L button to learn. And now the next thing that you touch or click is going to be mapped to that quick control slot. So I'm going to come over here and click on the, I've got to turn off the automation function for it to learn. And then I can click on those. And you see it's captured uh, grid size as the number one quick control. So let me leave learn mode. And now watch as I move the uh, quick control back and forth through its range, you can see that the loop mesh plugin is responding. And this quick control movement can be automated. So let me uh, jump back over here, engage read write automation. And I'm just going to do this as kind of a two pass thing. Uh, in the first pass, I'm just going to sort of move the grid around. Then we'll go back and put some stuff on top of it. Okay, now if I open, expand the next automation lane, you can see that the grid size, the quick control motions were recorded here. Let me back up over that, and um, you can see the plugin responding. Kind of cool. And now um, I'm just going to use that one quarter stutter effect and just leave it sort of my finger on the button that through that whole section. And uh, you can see how it sounds. Okay, that not only wasn't that very musically useful, that was completely musically worthless. Um, but you get the idea. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting question, and uh, I wouldn't have thought to to do that. But you can make the plugin generate some interesting results and a uh, new set of tools. I guess one other thing I would point out, if you're going to play with this, is once you have the uh, quick control assigned, you can map the quick control uh, to a hardware controller as well. So if you had a, so I don't know. Those DJ things or whatever off to the side, you could uh, you could conceivably be, you know, using that either in the studio or if you were playing playing out, I guess, with Loop Mesh. But uh, you could you could make it uh, talk to a hardware uh, input device as well. So um, interesting question. Hope the answer satisfied you. If you guys come up with anything else, please send them in and we'll play with them. Thanks a lot.